Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. IT's a miracle Michelle Obama just made huge announcement that will make every Republican cheer. Now, hold your horses. I know y'all are probably wondering what someone like Michelle Obama could possibly do that will make Republicans happy. No, it was not a typo. So, for some reason, Mrs. Obama was invited to a tech conference in Salt Lake City, Utah yesterday. While she was there, she got to talking about her time as First Lady and how much she hated it. That's when it happened. Michelle announced that she will never run for a political office herself. After saying she hated being in politics as First Lady, Obama told the interviewer in no mixed words. No, running for office is nowhere on the radar screen but continuing in public service is something I will do for the rest of my life. Of course, just because I think it's good news that Michelle Obama is not going to run for president or senator or mayor or anything in politics does not mean I am a fan of hers. She even managed to use her speech to say quite possibly the nastiest thing a former first lady has ever said about another president. We are looking at two different administrations. One administration was built on hope, while the other administration leads with fear. Like I said, this woman is still the same classless hatemonger we remember from 2008 to 2016. Luckily, that's all she is now. But hey, let's not let her nastiness rain on her parade. The important thing here is that politics is done with Michelle Obama, thank God, and now we get those spread this happy message everywhere. Can I get an amen? IT's over Trump just dropped a hammer on the NFL that will end them for good. President Donald Trump loves football almost as much as he loves America. That's why it was not easy for him to do what he did to the NFL last night during his speech in Alabama. At one point the president began talking about the professional football players who have been disrespecting our nation by kneeling during the national anthem. However, Trump did not stop at simply calling them out. Nope, he took it 100 steps further than that. Trump called for a boycott of any NFL team that lets a player kneel during the national anthem. President Trump said that the way to beat this plague of athletes disrespecting the flag is simple. If you see it, even if it's one player, leave the stadium. I guarantee things will stop. He is right, that would end it. The NFL, at the end of the day, is a business and will do whatever the customers demand. However, Trump said that simply stopping kneeling is not enough anymore. He thinks the owner should fire any player who kneels from now on. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a BH off the field right now. He is fired. He's fired. Ouch. Well, that would definitely get the message across. While his solutions may seem extreme to some, what Trump wants people to do is clear, we need to stand up against the NFL until they stop disrespecting the flag and our troops once and for all. We have the power. Now, do your part and help spread this important message everywhere. Immediately after McCain saved Obamacare again, Mike Huckabee blasted him with four brutal words. There are not many politicians out there who are funnier and love America more than Governor Mike Huckabee. And you can bet he was not one bit happy when he heard that John McCain had managed to save Obamacare again at the last minute. So did Gov Huckabee sit around on his hands and do nothing about it? Hell no. He took action, jumped online, and before you can say Obamacare Huckabee blasted McCain back to the Stone Age. The funny thing about his little Jimmy Kimmel joke is that Kimmel actually came out and called McCain an American hero over his decision to not help repeal Obamacare. Now, while Huckabee's words may seem in good fun, this is a very serious situation. This was the last chance to repeal Obamacare. After this week, 
Republicans will need 60 votes instead of 50 to get it repealed and replaced thanks to Senate budget rules. Still, we got to help them shame these do-nothing senators like McCain and Rand Paul until they either do their jobs. We can get someone else in there to do their job for them. Can you all do us a favor and share this out if you think it's high time the U.S. Senators start representing the people who elect them? A minute into his speech in Alabama, Trump looked into the crowd and said something crazy. President Trump spoke at a rally tonight for Alabama Senator Luther Strange. The people of this country are so damn tired. You know what we are tired of. We are tired of Republicans not doing anything. Something amazing at the Trump rally happened. Many Trump supporters backed Judge Roy Moore. Trump supports Luther Strange. When Trump mentioned the Republicans tonight, the crowd booed. This is huge. The Republican Party has tried to ruin this president. They need to meditate on their failures this entire year. You can be that if the Democrats had the majority, the E would have gotten this done. You can count on that. Share this if you want the Republican Party to start backing this president. What they have done is disgusting. Moments after McCain saved Obamacare, Pence marched on stage and took McCain down himself. Mike Pence was clearly furious when he saw the Republicans once again fail to repeal and replace Obamacare thanks to the efforts of Senators John McCain, Lisa Murkowski, and Rand Paul. To make it even worse, after next week the rules change in the Congress and Republicans will need 60 votes to repeal and replace it, not the 50 they need right now. So, instead of sitting on the sidelines, Vice President Pence took his fight to the people and made a massive declaration of war against our failed Republicans. A vote against Graham Cassidy is a vote to save Obamacare. The Republican majority in Congress, in particular, was not elected to save Obamacare, they were elected to repeal and replace Obamacare. And it's time for every member of the Republican majority to keep their word. He is 100% right. The clock is ticking down on the Republicans to get this stuff done and they have failed every single time. Let's help Mike Pence light a fire under their asses so they get some actual work done by spreading this everywhere and showing them we will not vote for losers to keep their jobs. An hour ago Trump did something to North Korea that has never been done before this century. U.S. bombers have flown close to North Korea's east coast to demonstrate the military options available to defeat any threat, says the Pentagon. It was the farthest north that a U.S. fighter has flown in this century, says the BBC. Tensions have risen recently after Pyongyang's nuclear program. At the UN, North Korea's foreign minister said that Trump was on a suicide mission. The man in the video is named Ri Yong Ho and he is trying to talk smack on Trump. He said that America pay dearly for his speech in which Trump said that he would totally destroy North Korea. At the same time as his address, the Pentagon announced their show of force and called North Korea's weapons programs a grave threat. This mission is a demonstration of U.S. resolve and a clear message that the president has many military options to defeat any threat, it said in a statement. We are prepared to use the full range of military capabilities to defend the U.S. homeland and our allies. We have seen a lot of liberals attacking our president for his stance on North Korea. Share this if you support our president more than anything. Jimmy Kimmel's puppet master revealed. Look which politician is coaching him to oppose Trump. This is massive and shows how tied to politics entertainment has become. It's horrifying. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer's office offered Jimmy Kimmel technical guidance to help him attack Trump's attempt to repeal and replace Obamacare. Schumer's office provided technical guidance and info about the bill, 
as well as stats from various think tanks and experts on the effects of Graham Cassidy, a source closed their conversations told the Daily Beast. Kimmel broadcasted about his son's medical issues in May. Kimmel attacked Cassidy recently before the fight against the Obamacare repeal. This guy, Bill Cassidy, just lied right to my face, Kimmel said before showing interview with the senator in May. Stop using my name, Kimmel said this week. He said he would only support a health care bill that made sure a child like mine would get the health coverage he needs, no matter how much money his parents make, Kimmel said. Kimmel also praised McCain for opposing the bill. This has got to get out, now. The Democrats are working with the media and we need to stop them. Share this with everyone to expose who Jimmy Kimmel really works for. How do you think we can fight back against these people? Comment below. Slap Trump woke NBA champ Steph Curry up this morning with a brutal wake-up call. President Donald Trump tweeted this this morning. One of basketball's golden guys is Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors. Trump gave him a wake-up call that he never expected. Check this out. Going to the White House is considered a great honor for a championship team. Stephen Curry is hesitating, therefore invitation is withdrawn. The great basketball player Curry has expressed concerns about going to the White House since he won the NBA championship. What a loser! President Trump had enough and revoked Stephen Curry's invitation. This is why we love this president. He doesn't take any crap from anyone. He stood up to North Korea at the UN this weekend and now he is one, two punching Steph Curry from his damn phone. Share this if you tired of people disrespecting our president. This is childish at this point. Let's make this go so viral that Steph Curry realizes how much he messed up not wanting to go to the White House after his amazing championship win. Thanks for reading. What do you think of Trump's move? Sound off below in the comments, y'all.